Good evening, YouTube. Um, this is another video uh, that's showcasing a, a repeater. Uh, this is a doorband uh, repeater, uh, 2G, 3G uh, repeater for an indoor solution. And this repeater can do up to 17 dBm output, and that's what it does. And the new feature here, um, there's an LCD that actually shows the um, uh, 2G, uh, as you can see. And there's another one that actually shows a uh, 3G. So basically, what we did here, uh, um, using what you call a rubber dock antenna, it's a short antenna that you could either use this type of antenna or you could use um, an indoor omni antenna, or which is popularly known as a dome antenna or panel anten antenna. When the, for, for the purpose of this test, um, I'm going to use um, a rubber dock antenna. To actually carry out this test, um, this is uh, connected to the antenna outside, and it's uh, facing. It's a, a little bit offset from a BTS because the signal is very strong. But in here, right here in this house, we have a problem with signal because of where it's situated, and uh, uh, we have a concrete decking. So you can see that's a LMR four hundred um, cable um, here. I have four mobile phones here, uh, <clears throat> namely this is for 9 mobile, that's the first one, uh, this is for Airtel, uh, this is the second one, uh, this is for MTN, uh, as you can see, and this is for uh, Globacom, and you can see the figures you, you get it on the uh, RSCP, on the uh, software, uh, this is software we're using, it's called GenTrack, GNetTrack Pro. Uh, you can see the operator lac rack MCC MNC and all that In um, here you can also see the RSCP 95 here minus 95 the signal is not too cool uh, For the second one uh, Let me just zoom it properly RSCP of 87 It's not too cool This is for Airtel and for the third one which is a uh, MTN RCP is minus 97 and for the fourth one and the last one um, this is Globalcom the RCP is minus 89 uh, Maki what I did on this mobile phones I've locked all these mobile phones to 3G so that is why you're seeing RCP instead of probably RSSI uh, so that's why it's a very great software you use it for doing um, indoor coverage uh, tracking and all that uh, you can also use it for drive test and now at this point in time when we have uh, the uh, booster is not on or the repeater is not on I'm going to switch off the repeater now and then we're going to see a change a max difference in the changes that we're going to get in the RCP um, here let me just switch it on and uh, you will see that uh, intentionally unplugged uh, Lock the system and now the repeater is going through a power and self test uh, so we're getting now so what we have now is a uh, you have a 2g up there and then you have a 3g now it's uh it's looking good okay now we're gonna go to the uh, mobile phones and see what we have in here now this is the first one Oh wow, uh, let me just uh, zoom in across. You can look at the RCP now, uh, look at that figure. What we're having uh, is against what we had earlier. This is minus 53 and this is very strong. This is very strong. Uh, you can see the signal there. Um, and the second one which is ETA, RCP is minus 51. can see what what we have there minus 51 that is a very strong signal uh, Mark you this particular phone has an issue uh, you know it doesn't give a true representation on the um, on the signal bar which you can actually know from a signal uh, RCP when you interrogate the system itself the phone itself and the third one which is for MTN we're getting uh, a minus 59 
a minus 59 db and this is very strong i tell you uh, let me just zoom properly so that you can oh my phone is just going yes you can see it's minus 59 sorry for the shaky camera my hands are a little bit shaky uh, we get minus 59 with this here and uh, the last one which is global com uh what we have in here is minus 51 um, this is good they are all locked to 4g on their various networks uh, so um, with this you can see the signal bar uh here signal bar you can see the signal bar on only this one this particular phone has an issue um it was an unlocked at t phone and right from inception have had that problem on it maybe if i change this phone i think i might get something better with the signal representation but every one of them actually should but the signal representation of this is minus 51 it tells the signal is very good here and um the first one which is also a uh, a nine mobile network that's it you have minus 51 on it uh you know which shows you uh that the booster has a, 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 a very good effect in this area. and this uh this particular booster it's uh it's more like a new one uh, we can actually make use of this in small offices yeah in small offices uh this can also be used in the car can also be rigged up in a car somewhere somewhere else with a yagi antenna outside uh, and what we have connected to it's an lmr 400 uh, coaxia cable uh, this runs outside onto a pole and we have a, a, a yagi antenna that has about 12 db gain uh, pointed at uh, towards a base station um we had to offset the signal from a base station because the signal getting to it was very strong and uh, it will overload uh, the site it could overload the site and so that's why we're doing it that way um, for some other reason for some other situation if we have a um, signal not too good then you can point it directly at the base station yeah. so um, you can see right now what we have uh, again I will switch off the uh, repeater so that you see uh, the signal level of the uh, mobile phones Billy George. Uh, one second, hold on while I turn off the power to the repeater. All right, yeah, that's it. So um, you can see the repeater is off right now. It's off, and uh, we're going to look at it again. So this is what we have. Uh, you can see the network. RSCP for this network has gone to 95 minus 95 um, that of this network has gone to minus 18 has dropped to minus 18 this is Airtel or the third network which is a uh, MTN has gone to minus 97 on the fourth one lastly uh, which is glow it's gone to minus 93 sorry about the shaky camera uh, I'll improve upon it next time when I'm doing a video um, so you can see uh, and if I turn it on again you're gonna see um, a marked improvement in the signal level yeah we're back on huh? okay the Peter's gonna do a okay it's done a self test and then it's going to update, do a location update again. And once it does that, um, now let's have a look at uh, the mobile phones again. And here we are. Okay, so, uh, the first one, uh, which is um, the 9 mobile, you can see it's minus 53 dBm RCP, and the second one is minus 51. That's good. That's excellent the third one is a uh, minus 59 still good excellent and the fourth one is a uh, minus 51 it's, it's good right? that's excellent so I mean this test shows you that this thing really works um, if you know what you're doing if you take a do it the way it's supposed to be done um, you would have uh, 
a situation whereby you can resolve your problems if you have uh, uh, challenges with indoor um, getting a good signal indoors and um, like I said um, this can be used for small offices small shops and then small locations and you can even use this particular type of uh, repeater uh, inside your car it has a lot of new features features that are um, it combats uh, interference and then it, it prevents uh, interference as long as it's properly installed uh, you wouldn't have issue of interference into the BTS so that's about all um, for now um, a lot of other repeaters are going to be coming in but uh, this is highly recommended and then you can contact us um, if you have issues like this this warning issues will definitely uh, resolve your signal issues thank you have a great evening bye bye